Well, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. Hey, I usually don't talk about this type of topic right here, but I got to do it. Can you imagine the slap in Western society's face? Robert De Niro, 79 years old, just had a baby, a little baby, I think it was a baby girl last month, 79 years old. Let me put that in perspective for y'all. 79 years old, still of value, still the prize, still producing children. Seed is working just fine. 79 years old. Now, mind you, he could not have had that baby with a woman that is like society teaches around his age or in her 60s and possibly for sure in her 50s. But maybe she's in her early 40s, I think. And I know that there's at least a 34-year-old gap. 34-year gap. Showing y'all all out there that men are still desirable even in their old age by younger women. You see, online here, and of course, you know, the internet, man, the social media has been a super highway of information concerning how people think in their relationships. It is a fact that older men desire younger women for the sole purpose to have seed or babies. Now, that's not always systemic across the board. Sometimes you just got good guys, good men that actually just want to cover a woman when she's righteous and he may not have any desire, but she may still be considered younger. He may not have any desire to have children, but nevertheless, the door is open. Listen. Women, you do hit the wall. And you're making a great mistake when you're running around here in your teens and in your 20s out there sowing your so-called mm -mm, wild folks and wild oaks and having your whole mm -mm, uh, and all this old other stuff, your phases and stuff. And, and you're allowing Tom, Dick, Harry, Mutt, Jeff, Pookie, Ray Ray, and everybody else to just screw you up. And then by the time you get in your 30s, you want to settle down. And the man that's marrying you is the man that basically had to wait in line for all these 50 to 100 consorts that you've had before you want to settle down. And then all of a sudden you want the most just, righteous man that there is on this earth. <laughs> because you think that you are deserving of it. Man, I tell you, what a world, huh? I think the problem is, is that fathers in the home because, well, I can't even say that today. Fathers outside of the home, because of the no fault divorce, where women actually initiate 80% of the divorce, and 90% of the women initiate, if they're educated, 90% of the divorce. Let me say 90. Uh, women who are educated initiate 90% of the divorce. And I tell you, what's going to happen if women don't get with this program, what's going to happen is, is this. You're going to find yourself in your 50s. And I'm going to tell you right now, ain't no old man going to be looking for you. Not when he can get a younger woman of 40s or 30s and her 20s. You can forget it. You're going to be at home alone with a cat or a dog. Some of you done made a mistake. I've seen women on here crying on YouTube because they missed it. They played feminism. They missed it. They missed it. They missed it. And watch this. By the time they get 70s, 80s, or whatever may take place, and they may end up in a nursing home or some type of care facility, they're not going to have no, no children or grandchildren to come and visit them. You know why? Because they chose to be for the streets. They chose to run the streets. They chose to go clubbing. They chose career. They chose all of that before the most important calling that there is in the universe which is motherhood and wife yeah and now they're sitting there having regrets I mean go on YouTube and, and type in women crying after they hit the wall something like that it's sad and then nobody's gonna come and visit them nobody's gonna come see them uh, you nobody you're not gonna have nobody standing around your bed when it's your time to go to mourn you and, and just celebrate the life that they had with you. No, because you chose to play 
a feminist game. And mind you, if I can give any of you young, young women advice out there, do not take any advice for people who have had dysfunctional marriages. You know, the women do not take any advice from women who have not had successful marriages. Don't do that. You'll be a fool. They're going to turn around and give you the same advice that caused them to destroy their marriage. But I tell you, man, 79 years old and still laying it. <laughs> Look at the narrow man. Go ahead on with your bad self. See, Pastor Dow is out here. And listen, tonight, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, be on this channel. Because, man, I'm going to answer a lot of these, this, this rhetoric and all the, a lot of these relationship lies concerning marriage, divorce, and just the way that the Bible says things ought to be. Because, man, you got these hoaxers out here that is lying to people, lying to people. You got people going to be sitting, women, you know, our, our, our assembly is different. Our assembly mostly consists of 70% men and 30% women. Usually out there in those churches showing you that it's a feminist spirit that's ruling, they mostly consist of 70 to 80% women and, and 20 uh, to 30% men, if that much. And then if you look at the men in a lot of these churches and these assemblies, man, they look weak, defeated, decrepit, broke down, a shell of a man. I mean, the woman has just done put so much lip on him that all but emasculated him and destroyed him. He has no fight in him whatsoever at all. They all just, they look pitiful. They have no spunk, no vigor, no zeal for life whatsoever at all. None whatsoever at all. I'm telling you, and the said, watch these shell of a man, they weak and noodles. <laughs> God, wow, wow. I'm telling you, man, this society has run amok on us. And especially, I want y'all to do something. Don't listen to no preacher out there that took the jab. How much discernment do you got? Man! Uh-uh. So anyway, hey, Robert De Niro, 79 years old. And before that, his last child that he had, I think he was um, 54 years old. So that's a 34-year gap. And then the total gap between the... Uh, child he just had in his first one 51 years man my hat's off to Robert go ahead Robert go ahead man uh, wish it was a boy but he, he gonna get to pick that though hey but hey isn't it nice isn't that wonderful man man I'm the only can hope I can continue to keep staying in the shape I'm in cause I'm planning on working out and staying working out uh, slows down the clock a little bit because uh, you all look online and see some of these men that are sitting in their 70, 76, 77 years old. And they look like they're about 55 years old. Now, a lot of them are ashamed of the gray hair that's on their head. Not me, you know. I mean, I'll just let it go ahead and grow out. They want to shave it off and try to look young and all that old other stuff. No, 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 no. Come to find out that a, a lot of younger women, they don't care that there's gray hair in your beard. Matter of fact, they actually like it. Uh, I can't really say that. I got a lot of bl black hair up there on top right there. But you know what I mean? Hey, I may do a style like Ranger. I like the way he styled his beard. I may style it up like that and see if it take a few years off my life. <laughs> anyway, I'm just cracking a joke here. But wow, 79 years old. That's proven to you, women. You have a click. You have a ticking time clock whereby you can produce the greatest form of wealth that there ever was and the greatest form of satisfaction that there ever could be provided that they're raised right and they're not unprofitable children is having a righteous man seed children rearing and raising them and by the way for you people out there that don't know any better who y'all think Pastor Dow don't know. You know, the problem with a lot of you people out there, and I'm going to speak because I've had three or four brothers approach me about some doctrinal stuff. The problem with y'all is, is that you've never been in a leadership position to know how to lead thousands of people, more than much less than hundreds or even tens of people. Listen, when you're speaking and preaching in, about certain subjects, you've got to step ladder this thing because the people are having a hard time just grasping truth. Now, in the book, when it says that a, a, that a duty 
a marriage should not be diminished. Food, clothing, conjugal rights. It says it right in, in a couple of places. What that means is, is that a man is supposed to provide food. He's supposed to provide clothing. And he's supposed to provide a righteous lifestyle for the woman. He's supposed to have provisions for her that's other than food, that's other than clothing. And not only that, uh, he's supposed to be the one to help take away her reproach. So no, it doesn't always include sex. I understand that, but we're not like these pagans out here where they having sexless marriages and, and semen retention and all kind of other crazy junk. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, so don't think I don't know. I know. I know more than what y'all let y'all should know by now. Y'all just listen to one thing for me, and you think you got to check me or talk to me about it. It's just ugly of me. I tell you what, y'all start going to my elders, all right? Start going to my elders, and they'll fill you in on the gap, all right? And they'll give you a, a little understanding about how you have to do things. I mean, if you go back, go back 10, 15 years from now and see what I was preaching, and now bring it up to this point and see how much more it is today than it was then. Because it's based on how we grow as a people. Well, anyway, hallelujah. And sometimes it gets frustrating. You understand what I mean? I got a lot I'm doing. Uh, anyway, I just hope I answer that and hope that y'all uh, the answer is satisfactory. And if it's not, it makes no difference to me. I still got a lot to do. But anyway, Robert De Niro. Man, go ahead, man. Stand up and give him applause, man. 79 little years old and still laying it down. Having children. <laughs> And guess what? He didn't have no children by no old 50, 60, 70, 80 year old woman either. Mm. Man, he must still be sexy. I don't know. I ain't seen him, but man, oh boy, I tell you what, that's something. Don't y'all agree? See, men, you age like fine wine. Not all you women, some of you age beautifully. Some of you righteous women, you age beautifully. But for the majority of women in America, you age like sour milk. How does that taste? And how does that smell? 